All right, new this morning, hackers made you pay more for gas and they threatened to raise the price of beef. Now, recent attacks by those cyber criminals have closed operations at two major businesses, leading to a major impact on our wallets. So why are these criminals so successful at disrupting our lives? Here's our why guy. Gone are the days when criminals needed guns or safe cracking skills to get to our money. From thousands of miles away, they're using computer keyboards to impact our lives. They are a criminal enterprise, much like the mafia. The cyber attack on Colonial Pipeline led to shortages and higher prices at the gas pump. A similar attack on the world's largest meat supplier brought production there to a halt. Let's explore why cyber criminals can paralyze companies that produce the products we need. First, cyber criminals hack their way into the computer systems of their target. Cybersecurity expert Dr. Andy Green of Kennesaw State University says criminals find sensitive information the company values to hold hostage. They demand money while encrypting the company's computer software. In the case of Colonial Pipeline, it locked them out of their ability to track who was getting their product. I liken that to you being able to walk into a grocery store and get whatever you want to off the shelf, but the registers aren't working. And so the grocery store can't properly bill you. Cyber criminals can also prevent a company from accessing the software that runs machinery on the production floor. That's what happened to JBS, the company that supplies U.S. stores with 20% of the nation's beef. When that network is impacted, you physically are unable to produce product. Typically, it's not until companies pay a hefty price that the cyber criminals release their grip. Cyber insurance is helping businesses recover, but it hasn't stopped the criminals, and it hasn't helped consumers when the gas stops flowing and prices begin to climb. Ooh, it certainly doesn't help us, right? Now, do you have a question for our Why Guy? Well, we want you to send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, and our Why Guy will check it out.